Charles at GTM Pixel. Uh, today I'm going to uh, introduce you to a, a very simple way to remove the inline CSS that has been uh, generated by the customizer of uh, X. So first of all, I'm really sorry about the crappy English accent and the, the, the lame English that is mine. Uh, I'm French, nobody's perfect, sorry. And um, okay, so here we go. Uh, okay, so uh, as you know, um, in order to uh, build a website with uh, X, you have to spend a, a bit of time on the customizer and uh, later on the on cornerstone. So uh, just so that it's clear, I love X. It's by far the best um, WordPress uh, theme um, which I've uh, I've worked, uh, but um, there's one major. Um, thing that I don't like it's that uh, the customizer input a lot of CSS in the head of the source code so if you take a, a web browser like Chrome and that you inspect your source code you can see that in the head there is this bit of, uh, of code um, style ID X generated CSS and here it is all the CSS that has been uh, generated by the customizer uh, to create your um, your uh, website uh, style and it's not good for a seo purpose to have uh, this uh, in the head so i'm going to show you how to remove uh, this uh, big uh, bit of uh, of source code and to replace it uh, properly in a css uh, file so in order to do that, first you have to set up a child theme. So you can you can download it on the on the Temco website in the member section. And when you have your uh, your child theme, you just have to pass one function that I'm going to show you and the style, of course, in your um, in your CSS file. So let's start. Uh, I'm going to do it maybe on um, on Firefox. It will be a bit easier for me because I don't use Chrome usually. Because Chrome uh, record everything you're doing, and if you're a SEO, I don't think it's a good a good thing. So here it is, style ID X generated CSS. Okay, so let's assume I've finished to design my website. And now I have uh, a lot of CSS in my head. So I just have to grab everything, copy it. I go on my style.css file in my child team. I passed it. Save. OK. First thing done. And now I just have to remove uh, the function that uh, inputs the CSS code in the head and paste it on my, on my function.php file in my uh, Excel folder. So when you uh, download the, the child theme on, uh, from the, the knowledge base on the uh, on Temco website, you have just the, uh, those lines, function uh, dot php blah 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 blah, and then you pass the function. So the function um, remove from the head the x output generated style, and when your your same is uh, loaded, you will see that now it's going to be. Uh, really uh, uh, lighter so if i go to my page on chrome inspect okay add it's generated css blah 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 and now if i refresh okay the layout and uh, general design is the same but if i check at my source code 
it's gone. No more uh, X generated uh, CSS output. So now my page is uh, lighter. So crawler from uh, Google uh, will download my page uh, more uh, efficiently. So better crawl uh, generally means uh, um, a better uh, ranking. You have to, to, to check about the, the keyword you're using, you, you need backlink uh, and so on. But, but basically, it's the first step to optimize the, the uh, download um, speed, of the speed of your, uh, of your pages and your website. So with just one simple copy and paste in your uh, functions.php file and the copy paste of the, the CSS, that you can find in the head in the style.css file. You can have a really cleaner um, a source code and a more uh, SEO friendly website. So it's better for, uh, for your ranking. Okay, that's it. So if you get questions, you can leave it in the um, commentary, in the comment section, and I will uh, answer as quick as possible. And uh, hope to see you again for another uh, tutorial or cornerstone. Bye bye bye. Ciao ciao.